Hey guys, Hamish here and welcome back to the channel. Today you are currently viewing my top 10 tips for keeping saltwater fish. Saltwater fish keeping is certainly a rewarding hobby. However, it requires proper knowledge and care to ensure the health and happiness of your fish. In this video I will be running through everything you need to know to become the best saltwater fish owner you possibly can be. Now let's dive in. Tip number one is fairly straightforward but many people do not think about this. Research properly before you buy anything. Before you even think about going to your local saltwater fish keeping store and buying a fish, do your research. Learn about the different types of saltwater fish, their needs and behavioural patterns and requirements. It certainly helps to research the equipment you will need as well, such as filters, heaters and lighting. Do not make the fatal mistake of impulse buying a fish without having a clue how to safely keep it healthy and happy. Also, when conducting research for your desired fish, you must make sure that you have the right sized tank to fill their needs, which leads us to the next tip. Tank size is one of, if not the most important aspect of owning a saltwater fish. They say the bigger the better, and this certainly does apply to the size of your fish tank, as it provides more space and stability for your fish community. If you are to keep too many fish in a small tank, this is only going to lead to problems, and I'm talking massive problems. Not just with stress and fish fighting, but with the water cleanliness too, which can quite easily lead to disease and parasites overtaking your fish, which will then lead to extremely short and sad lives for them. And the third tip is, cycle your reef or regular saltwater tank. Cycling your tank is an important process that establishes beneficial bacteria in your aquarium. This bacteria helps to break down harmful substances in the water, such as ammonia and nitrate, which creates a healthy environment for your fish. Cycling your tank, however, can take several weeks, so be patient and test your water regularly to ensure the process is working correctly. Ensure that you test your water regularly for pH, ammonia, nitrite and nitrate levels. A high level of any of these can be harmful to your fish. Also, perform regular water changes to remove any excess waste and replenish essential minerals within your water. Tip number five, avoid overfeeding. Overfeeding your fish is probably one of the most common mistakes that many, many hobbyists make, especially when they're just starting out. However, it needs to be avoided because not only will it make your fish overweight and potentially quite unhealthy, but it will really damage your water quality, which will provide you with way more work and can also increase the chances of your fish getting pretty ill with disease and parasites. So what you need to do is feed your fish small amounts of food, maybe one to three times a day, but this really depends on the type of fish you are keeping and then remove any of the uneaten food after a few minutes of feeding. This will prevent excess waste from accumulating in your tank, keeping everything healthy, fresh, and most importantly, clean. Tip number six, ensure that you choose compatible fish. Yes, this might sound simple, but many people skip this part of their research out, which leads to casualties between their community. And that is not what anyone wants to see. Some fish are way more predatory than others, and some fish are more territorial than others. While some are peaceful and small, others are large and aggressive. And this is pretty much something that you need to keep in mind when you're trying to create the perfect harmonious community tank environment. Research the types of fish that you want to keep with each other and choose the ones that are known as compatible with one another. Tip number seven, provide adequate lighting. Lighting is important for both the health and behavior of your fish. Some fish require specific lighting conditions to thrive, whilst others may be negatively affected by too much light. Research the lighting needs of your fish and choose appropriate lighting for your tank. Tip number eight, maintain proper water temperature. Temperature is an important factor in the health and well-being of your fish. The majority of saltwater fish require a consistent temperature that typically ranges between 72 and 82 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 22.22 to 27.77 degrees Celsius. However, there are some outliers, 
that will require slightly warmer or colder water. The key is to ensure that your fish are being provided with a consistent water temperature. Massive spikes in their water temperature will only lead to bad things happening to your inhabitants. Investing in a quality heater and thermometer is an absolute no-brainer, and this ensures that your tank will stay within the range that we mentioned previously. Tip number nine, keep your tank clean on a regular basis. Maintaining a clean tank is essential for the health and happiness of your fish. Regularly clean your tank by removing any excess waste and algae buildup. Also, make sure that you're cleaning your equipment regularly too to prevent any buildup of bacteria or harmful substances. And finally, we're on tip number 10, guys. Thank you for your patience, but now you have to be patient and enjoy the process. That's right, keeping saltwater fish is an incredibly rewarding process. Yes, as a new fish keeper, of course you are going to get things wrong, but that's life. The key is to always do the research and have fun while you're doing it. Soon enough, you will become an expert in owning a plethora of beautiful saltwater fish and maybe even some coral. I really hope that this video will come in handy and I wish you all the best of luck in your fish keeping journey. Make sure you like and subscribe for more content and don't be afraid to let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Equally, if you have any other video suggestions for me, then let me know down below too. Thanks again guys and have a fantastic day.